सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो टिल हीलियम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद द वोलेटाइल लिक्विड्स एंड वी इन दिस वी विल फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट क्लोरोफॉम सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब इट प्लीज 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 इट्स माई अर्नेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड सपोर्टर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद क्लोरोफॉम क्लोरोफॉम इज नॉट यूज नाउ ओके बिकॉज ऑफ हेपेटोटॉक्सिसिटी एंड कार्डियोटॉक्सिसिटी क्लियर now coming to the ether so ether you are knowing this is the first anesthetic agent okay ether was your first anesthetic agent basically what are the advantages of ether so this is safe in inexperienced hand because of the slow onset of action it also acts as it has good analgesic power it also have muscle relaxant power okay it is not hepatotoxic and cardiotoxic just like chloroform okay it is not hepatotoxic and cardiotoxic like chloroform and it has no reaction with soda line getting my point there are the four advantages which are associated with ether but there are some disadvantages also it has pungent smell so it can lead to asthma it also causes nausea and vomiting and maximum nausea and vomiting is caused by this ether it is also inflammable in nature so never used in cautery very important it is never used in cautery because of inflammable property it is also explosive in nature and this is not used much now in hospital setup so there are the five disadvantages and there are the four advantages now coming to the trilin trilin has maximum analgesic power and it is it will be never used in closed circuit because of the no reaction with soda lime this ether can be used in closed circuit but but those anesthetic drug which can react with noh they will not be used in closed circuit clear okay so suppose there is general anesthetic once used okay removed in environment once used it is removed in environment that is the example of open circuit but when it is reused that will be in closed circuit okay and that will be of cheaper cost clear and before reusing we have to we need to remove co2 which is produced so for using for removing this co2 we use basically soda lime okay and suppose if any anesthetic reacts with soda lime then that anesthetic will not be able to reused okay so those anesthetic which react with soda lime will always be used in open circuit and those anesthetic which which do not react with soda lime can be used in this closed circuit so this point is important so here that point is given now coming to the cyclopropen next drug so cyclopropen is explosive gas okay so it always used in closed circuit now what is the advantage of the cyclopropen so cyclopropen stimulates sns that is sympathetic nervous system and by storing this it engages bp and because of this it can be used in shock case clear yeah. but one disadvantage related with this If you suddenly stop cyclopropen, then there will be suddenly fall of BP, sudden fall of BP, and patient can go in shock, and that type of shock is known as cyclopropen shock because due to a stoppage, sudden stoppage of cyclopropen, that shock is coming. So that will be known as cyclopropen shock. Clear? Now move to the next part, that is halothen. That's the most important. This is the most important. Okay? For short notes and for everything, this is the most potent anesthetic. It has no analgesic effect. It has high blood gas partition coefficient. All these we have. Discuss in previous video how what is blood gas partition coefficient, what is Mac value. So please watch that video if you have not watched that video. It also has maximum muscle relaxant property. So it will cause bronchodilation. It has tocolytic effect and it will also lead to hypotension because of the maximum muscle relaxant property. Now this halothen should be stored in amber colored bottle. Okay, this halothen should be stored in amber colored bottle because it is of photo volatile nature. So because of the photo volatility, it should be stored in amber colored bottle. next important point thymol should be added as a preservative okay thymol thymol should be added as a preservative and that will inhibit your vaporization so it should be stored in amber colored bottle first point important second thymol should be added as a preservative that will inhibit your vaporization now red color is added to detect any vaporization and leakage and we should add red color also to detect any vaporization or any leakage okay yeah? so these three points you must remember about halothen now for properties of halothen just we use a mnemonics halothen ip h for high blood gas partition coefficient a for asthma patient it is drug of choice in emergency condition then it is liver toxic it can cause orthostatic hypotension thymol is added to as preservatives already we have discussed then it may lead to hyperthermia then it may lead to arrhythmia it is also non explosive non analgesic it ends vomiting so anti emetic then it also increases icp means intracranial pressure 
and it can cause post anesthetic shivering so these are the side effects liver toxicity orthostatic hypertension hyperthermia arrhythmia increased icp and post anesthetic shivering these are the side effects which are associated with this drug now coming to the next part that is halogenated general anesthetic so in in this the first year methoxyfluorine this is the first fluorine and maximum fluorine content is present in this uh, methoxyfluorine so it is hepatotoxic and neurotoxic so it is not used now it is also inflammable in nature the next drug is your sevoflurane what are the properties of sevoflurane so it has low blood gas partition coefficient okay so have fast onset and recovery it has sweat smell so it used as inducing agent in children and day care surgery okay because of the sweet smell it can be used as inducing agent in children and day care surgery next important point it is a stable in cardiac and neuro patient surgery so it is in basically it is inhalational agent of choice okay it is an inhalational agent of choice in this type of patient okay clear this is inhalational agent of choice in this type of patients now what are the side effects which related to sevoflurane so s for sevoflurane s for seizures s for sevoflurane s for sodium reaction and because it will give sodium reaction so it cannot be used in closed circuit clear now due to this sodium reaction it forms a compound a which is nephrotoxic in nature so it will damage your pct clear so this is about sevoflurane remember this is important point inhalational agent of choice and this Used in children and day care surgery. Now coming to the next, that is isoflurane and desflurane. So they both have pungent smell. So both are contraindicated in laryngospasm. Okay, isoflurane, desflurane, both have pungent smell. So they both are contraindicated in laryngospasm. This isoflurane has also property of vasodilation. So it produces controlled hypotension. So used in hypertensive patient. But the side effect which are associated with isoflurane is coronary steel syndrome i have already explained this coronary steel syndrome in our cvs video clear okay now coming to the last influence so it is slow onset and recovery so it can be used as man maintenance ga contraindication is epilepsy seizures now coming to the next part that is intravenous general anesthetic so in that the first is your thiopentane it is also known as sodium pentothal it is a barbiturates it is a basically short acting barbiturates okay short acting barbiturate and the short acting because of their redistribution to fat and it is seen in all this tempo care all the intravenous GA which we are going to discuss all will show this activity basically they all are short acting due to redistribution into fats okay solution has alkaline ph and we add sodium bicarbonate to inhibit basically bacterial growth we add sodium bicarbonate to inhibit the bacterial growth clear now what are the uses of this intravenous ga so the first use it is used iv inducing general anesthetic then it is also cerebro and cardioprotective in nature by decreasing oxygen demand by decreasing oxygen demand it is cerebro and cardioprotective it is also antithyroid in nature okay it is also antithyroid in nature also antithyroid in nature so drug of choice genesthesis in thyrotoxicosis clear so you know this this point very important antithyroid in nature so it can be used for that okay getting a point clear now let's move to the contraindication so it is contraindicated in acute intermittent porphyria because all barbiturates are contraindicated injection is highly painful and this highly painful injection is associated with others also along with hyperdine intermediate and propofol only ketamine has no pain because ketamine is itself an analgesic ketamine is itself an analgesic so there will be no pain associated with this ketamine getting a point now coming to the methoxetone the next one so methoxetone decreases your seizure threshold okay methoxetone will decrease seizure threshold clear so it will it will increase the risk of seizures drug of choice during ect now going to the next it is drug of choice in mi patient also it is drug of choice for hemorrhage or splenic rupture and drug of choice for senile patient how you will remember so remember like this this is the this uh, methoxetone is most hemodynamically stable okay most hemodynamically stable most hemodynamically stable methoxetone and because of this most mi patient h for hemorrhage and stable for senile yeah, okay. side effects pnvc painful injection nausea and vomiting vitamin c deficiency and corticosteroid deficiency it can cause and due to corticosteroid deficiency it may lead to adrenal insufficiency also so these are side effects okay we are just uh, summarizing the whole thing okay so that you can get a basic idea now coming to the propofol the most important ga 
okay this is the most important and most commonly used gi basically this propofol okay now how we prepare this propofol so this propofol is generally mixed with your soya bean oil or egg white plus glycerol and because of this you when you see the color of that uh, this will be appearing like milky white emulsion but where this propofol will contraindicated if they if there is egg allergy to the patient then this will be contraindicated because you are, you are mixing with egg white now this should be always always freshly made and this must be used within 6 hours as bacterial overgrowth may occur in this okay and it also has alkaline pH. Now, what are the uses? So, for uses, just use the trick daytime, daycare surgery, drug of choice, total IV anesthesia, drug of choice, ICU sedation, drug of choice, drug of choice for malignant hypothermia patient, and also it ends vomiting. What are the side effects associated with propofol? So, painful injection, as already we have discussed, it also has planoprotein binding is maximum because this is not side effect, okay? This is pharmacokinetics, planoprotein binding is maximum. Then it can cause pancreatitis, pleasurable effect, and if there is pleasurable effect, there may be risk of addiction. It also causes opisthosomal means abnormal position, abnormal movement. Then PACE, that is propofol in related infusion syndrome. Clear? That may lead to multiple organ damage. And this is due to inhibition of mitochondrial respiratory chain. So all the side effects are mostly due to P, 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 P. Painful, planoprotein, pancreatitis, pleasurable, opisthosomal and PACE. Let's move to the next, that is ketamine. All its derivatives are potent hallucinogen. Okay. It is also known as a dead rape drug. It can be used for that purpose and it also has addiction now mechanism of action is very important it is nmd antagonist and it works by two mechanisms it is also dissociative anesthesia and a strong energy a strong anesthesia means no pain on injection as already we have discussed coming to the dissociative anesthesia so in dissociative anesthesia what happens there will be loss of consciousness but there will be no loss of protective reflexes clear so this is a drug of choice in surgery in patient who are full with we were with full stomach to prevent aspiration of abnormal contact into lungs because the protective reflexes are present. There is no loss of protective reflexes. It also this this drug also stimulate your SNS sympathetic nervous system. Okay, so bronchodilation will be there, vasoconstriction will be there, and cardiac stimulant will be there. So drug of choice in as IV in shock patient, IV anesthetic in shock patient drug of choice. Side effects: vice vivid dreams, increases ICP, cardiac stimulant, and the, and due to cardiac stimulation. This drug is con contraindicated in MI, that's very important. And it can cause epilepsy, so increases the risk of seizures. Okay, and these are the adjunctive drugs, just note down the drug name, opioids, benzodiazepines, prokinetics, atropine, hyacin, glycopyrrolate, antimetics, dexmeditomidine, and excretion muscle lactans. Clear? So read these drugs on your own. So thank you for watching, best of luck.